cactus. I always seem to get bit by these jumping cacti and I just, I don't know why it always... <laughs> How's it fellow adventurers? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna to get lost in the beauty of Joshua Tree. So we just took this hike to go check out one of the more popular sites. Let's go take a look at Skull Rock. All right, I've discovered this little cave. Let's go show you what's inside. Oh, this is so cool. It's like Tom Sawyer's Island at Disneyland, just better. Okay, tight, tight fit here. Ooh. I made it. That was awesome. Kind of tight back here. Oh. I made it. I just started the Hidden Valley hike. Let's check this out. Wow. I'm going up these really cool like rock stairs right now. It's really cool. Oh wow. Big rocks. Just like everywhere. Look at this. Huge rocks. This is awesome guys. Check that view out. affectionately known as the Choya Kid because whenever I'm on camping trips, I always seem to get bit by these jumping cacti and I just, I don't know why it always... So as you can imagine, I'm a little nervous about being here in the Choya Gardens. I feel like I'm in Land of the Lost right now. Look at this. I mean, where are the dinosaurs? These rocks are amazing. Guys, Joshua Tree is so awesome. <laughs> In 
1936, this beautiful park was declared Joshua Tree National Monument by President Roosevelt. This is because of Minerva Hoyt's love for the desert, her understanding of the threats from humans, and her ability to persuade Roosevelt. Starting when she lived in South Pasadena, California, this community activist, little by little, became deeply interested in desert plants and habitats. She saw the beauty that others were blinded to in the spiny plants and slithery creatures. 58 years after it became a monument, it was redesignated as Joshua Tree National Park as part of the California Desert Protection Act. Almost 800,000 acres of land are protected by this park. In fact, it is just a little bit larger than the state of Rhode Island. Humans have lived in this land for more than 4,000 years, the earliest known inhabitants being the people of the Pinto culture. This amazing land includes parts of the Mojave and Colorado deserts. Living in this vast desert are 57 mammal species. Oh, but he's a reptile. Joshua trees are really good at hiding their real identity because they aren't actually trees. Instead, they are a type of yucca that can grow as little as one to three inches per year. And they can live to be about 150 years old, as long as we don't get in the way. John, I got lots of stories to tell you. It all started 123 years ago when I was just a wee bambino. I really hope you enjoyed this adventure. I love to hear that I have influenced someone to get out and travel, visit somewhere that they have seen in my videos, or just go for a hike around their house or visit a roadside attraction. More importantly though, I know that there are many who can't get out for an adventure. I get it, and hopefully you know these videos are for you. We'd love for you to be here with us, so make sure you subscribe as the next adventure is right around the corner. Thanks for watching.